Let's say we forgot our administrator password or any password to our Windows 2019 server and we need to reset it. Well, we need to go and restart our computer off of a DVD. So either use an external DVD drive or if you have a built-in one, do that. If it's a virtual machine like this one, then you just need to make sure you go to the settings and you go to where it says firmware and then from there make sure DVD is at the top of the list. And if it's not, just go ahead and move it up until it is, click apply and OK, and you're ready to go. All right, so let's go ahead and shut down this particular server. And when we restart it, we're going to go into booting off of our uh, off of our DVD. And now our boot is coming off of our DVD rather than from our hard drive. We're now in the setup screen. We'll go ahead and click Next, and we'll choose Repair Our Computer. And we're going to choose the Troubleshoot yeah, the you troubleshoot your PC here, and we'll go ahead and click on Command Prompt. And now we need to see which is our boot drive, which is the drive that contains all of our folders. So it's probably either going to be C or D, and it's pretty easy to check it out. Let's just try D first. We'll do D colon, and then we'll do a DIR. And if we see Windows, then this is the right drive. And we don't see Windows there. So now let's do a C colon, hit Enter, and type a DIR. And look at that, there's our Windows directory. So we know we're in the right place. All right, let's go ahead and clear the screen. Now we need to type a couple of commands to get our F8 uh, advanced boot menu to work again. So we need to type in a BCD edit, followed by slash set. Then we need to put in these uh, brackets that you see here. And we're going to type in boot MGR and close the bracket up. And we're going to type in display boot menu, and we'll type yes. So that way we can get that F8 to work again, because by default it doesn't do that. Now we'll do the same command again, but we will delete that out and type in a timeout. And that's how long it'll show the screen for us. So we'll say 15 for 15 seconds. You could do 10, 5, you could do 30, whatever it is that you want. All right, so now that that's done, now we need to CD over to our uh, Windows and then our system directory. System32 directory, actually. And from here, we're going to type uh, rename, or R-E-N, utilman.exe to utilman.123 or .old, whatever it is you want to do. We're just going to go ahead and rename the file. Now we're going to copy over and just type the word copy our command cmd.exe to utilman.exe. So we're replacing the ease of access with a command prompt. There it is. Now let's just go ahead and double check that we did that right. We'll do a dir and we'll type in cmd.exe and we see that's uh, 278,000 bytes. Now we'll do a dir utilman.exe and it's the exact same size. So we know that the copy worked correctly. All right, so let's go on to the next step. We're going to go back and change our boot. Again, this is if you have a virtual machine. If you have a physical machine, then you just need to press F12 during the boot up. All right, so we're just going to go and we're going to change this to go to our hard drive instead. We don't want the file. We don't want the network adapter. Let's go ahead and move the hard drive all the way to the top. Click Apply, click OK. Again, if you're using physical, you don't have to do that. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and type in Exit. Now we're going to say Exit and Continue to Windows Server. So when we get the option, we should see the ability to press F8 for Advanced Startup. And now we see the Windows Server Startup. So we're going to press F8. So that way we have the options that we're used to when it comes to being able to go to safe mode and things like that. So what we want to do now is we want to go all the way to the bottom and choose Disable Early Launch Anti-Malware Driver. And when it boots up, our anti-malware won't stop us from opening the command prompt. And that's the change that happened. Before, we didn't have to go through the additional steps of getting F8 to come up and all that kind of stuff. But then an update happened, and it turns out Defender is what's keeping us from being able to use the procedure we used to use for renaming Utilman EXE. 
So the rest of this part should be pretty much the same as it was before, but it's the beginning that changed, such as disabling your anti-malware. All right, so we have rebooted, and we're going to go click on the Ease of Access button, but instead of Ease of Access, we should now get a command prompt, which is exactly what we wanted. So all we have to do is type a couple of commands, and we're in here. So we can type net user administrator, and then put in our new password, and hit enter. Uh, now, if this is a domain controller, then you would do a forward slash domain at the end. And what that would do is it would reset Active Directory's password. Let's go ahead and exit out of that because this uh, server is not a domain controller. So I'll just type exit. And now I'm going to type the new password. And look at that. We're logging in. So it worked. So that's how you change the password. If you've lost it, need to have it reset in Windows Server 2019. This also works with Windows Server 2016 and 2012 as well. Now, it's possible your 2012, you may not have to do the BCD edit commands because uh, you may not have that update that's installed that requires it. But you can try it without it first if you want and then try it with it, and then that should allow it. But on 2016 and 2019, this absolutely works.